Jada Pickett just disrespected Will Smith again by posting this on her Instagram. Not in a million years would I have dreamed that the Fresh Prince and I would become um, very acquainted. Not in a million years did I imagine three lives, three fates would be so intertwined. And I never would have imagined that this video would become a tangible memory of the last time Pac and I were simply kids together. I can't play the audio, but right now you are looking at an old video of Tupac and Jada Pinkett back in the day. They are dancing and lip syncing along to Will Smith's song, Parents Just Don't Understand. Oh, the irony. Oh, the irony. And the disrespect. Like, Will Smith, please just go get the men in black flashy thing and just erase Tupac from her memory. Like, there you go. Right there. Boom. Nobody will knock you for that because this is your ex. This is the one that got away. They can lie all they want. I'm going to show how we know that that's a lie pretty soon, but they can lie all they want. But if you, you love this man so much that Will Smith even admitted that he was jealous of the love that y'all had for each other. Your daughter even wrote a, a letter talking about how much he loved Tupac and the man died before she was even born. Like you, you, you talk about this man so much that your kids love him. Like, it's that bad. So the levels of disrespect are that high. And your husband, who ever since the red table talk situation, who's just viewed as just the king of all cucks, he's the, he's the king of Cuck Mountain. He's Captain Cuck. And you just keep driving that nail further into the coffin, just going further and further. How how much more can I disrespect a, the will? Oh, my God. The, the only reason. At this point, that we even are consciously aware of her name is because of its connection to Will Smith and the greatness of his career that her actions culminated in the most infamous. Oh, God, she just she just rubbed a man's stomach down to his, his crotch area. OK, all right. All right. They, they just friends. They just friends. That's these are the actions and behavior of just friends. I mean, speaking of this whole. All right, this is live react. I'm just now seeing, <laughs> just now seeing this. Speaking, like they, they tried to claim that they just friends. Let's let's. Nobody sitting there talking that much. Nobody sitting there talking that much. She cry every time she bring them up. They talk like they just friends, but you know it's it like like they, she thought they talk like they were just friends, but it's pictures like this of them all over the all over the internet like that's that's how every couple in the 90s took pictures together it's like no this this is your ex who you were always in love with in love with to the point to where even will smith even like this happened uh oh were you ever jealous of the love jada had for tupac uh <laughs> I oh my no. god that dude let me like and you know and that was in the that was in the early days yeah that was in the early days and it was like um that's a, that was a big regret for me too because i could never um i could never open up to interact with with Pac, mm -hmm. you know and because we had a little bit of a thing right because you know um you know they grew up together and you know they loved each other but they never had that you know they never had a a sexual relationship, relationship yeah. but they had come into that age where now that was a possibility and then jada was with me he literally just tried to say that they didn't have a sexual relationship but they had came into that age where that was a possibility but now jada pinkin was with her let's do some quick maths on that one Jada Pinkett was born in 1971. She met Will Smith when she was 22 in 1994. Okay, she was 22 years old. What do he mean they just came into that age where that was a possibility? Like, no. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> he making it seem like they, 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 they was in love from like the first grade to to maybe the seventh or eighth grade. 
All right. And then and then they separated and were never around each other. No, they they was tight all the way from, you know, all, all, all up into 20 up until she was 22. <laughs> like, no, this is her ex that she used to smash. Like, that don't look like two people not old enough to get it in. Like, what what, what is he talking about? <laughs> they do it every standard couple's pose from the 90s. I could pull out video after video of her crying. While talking about Tupac. Here's another one. This all she did is just started talking about her ex and just started crying. <laughs> like it's that bad. It's that bad that the 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 woman who have made Will Smith Captain Cuck is is still doing more. To drive the nail into the caution, into the coffin. But make no mistake, I got the audio off it. This is a video of this is her talking about Tupac. Got the audio off. They be having music playing in the background. I don't know if it's copyrighted, so I can't even play what she's saying. But just keep in mind, she 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 always cops a plea and say they were just friends. They were just friends. They were just friends. But no, everybody know that's a lie. Everybody know that's a lie. The internet knows it's a lie. So to post that is, is is just the ultimate disrespect. There's an under normal conditions, under normal conditions, it might not be that big of a deal. But seeing as she did the red table talk thing with him, where he was sitting there looking like 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 Kobe Bryant's wife. That's messed up. I hate to bring up Kobe and this. Don't bring, you know, RIP. Don't bring, don't. but y'all know what I'm saying. You know how I look when the, when the, when the, when the husband cheat or do something and then it's like, and, the, and then the wife got to be on his arm supporting, I'm gonna stick beside him. And I trust, you know, it's like, like he, he had to do that. He, it, it's, it's that bad. And all of that is what culminated into the slap because the disrespect and everything that she was doing and had everybody dragging him through the mud for being Captain Cuck. And then now, after he got that reputation that resulted in the slap, you should be walking on eggshells trying not to do anything that just slightly seems disrespectful. You should be walking on eggshells. But no, in the name of selling just a couple more copies of a book, she decided to do this.